Can I please explain outgassing? Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's one of those deals where, um, man, you know, I love the, I love the internet, and there's 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 tons of information that's out there, but the outgassing is part of the prep process, and that is probably one of the areas where I see on message boards and Facebook group pages and, and all this where a lot of people are asking for advice and then we we get some advice that's not actually accurate sometimes. It's just misunderstood. And I, you know, I always tell everybody this, don't believe it just because you read it online. That doesn't necessarily make it true. But uh, also don't believe it just because I say it, right? So make make me make anybody prove it to you and so i will let me see if i can explain this in a way without doing this visually to where you can sort of understand it so one of the things that i read online a lot is people will say that they wash apart they put it in the oven to dry it and outgas it or outgassing being opening up the pores because you look at metal under a microscope it's very porous so it's opening up the pores and driving all the contaminants that are inside the metal to the surface, right? So we're, we're going to outgas. So we're going to bring all the garbage to the surface. And so, like I say, one of the things that I see online, people say, well, wash your part, and then we put it in the oven, and we're going to outgas it, and then coat it. And that's kind of like taking a shower and putting your dirty underwear back on. Right, because so I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to bring all the garbage to the surface. No, because now I'm coating over the top of all the trash. The outgassing part of it is something that you do prior to coating. I want to open the pores and bring everything to the surface so I can clean it off. Now, when am I going to do that? Do you do it to everything? Not necessarily on brand new, um, brand new fabricated metal. It's not necessary. It's depending on the chemicals that you're cleaning with and how your cleaning process and all that, that you're going to get something that has impingement and really get below the pores. But the, the way the, what you're, what you're trying to think about is does, is there, what is the possibility that there's stuff below the pores? I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if it's got a lot of welds on it, there's probably oil trapped behind those welds. So if we outgas it, we open those pours up and we drive the oil out from behind the wells to the surface and then we clean it off and then we can coat the part. Another way to think about it, I guess, is probably this. When you, when you bake the part at 400 degrees inside the oven, you're going to have, you, there's a possibility that stuff is going to come to the surface. Those pores are going to open up. There's a possibility of the things that are going to come to the surface. If you look at that part, and it has a lot of welds on it. If it's very porous, like a, uh, like a cast part, or if it's, let's say, I don't know, what's a good example, um, say a rim that's been on a car for a while that may have had uh, wax and dirt grime and, and brake dust and whatever that's kind of beat up on it and settled on it, maybe worked its way below the surface. Those things we're going to want to gas out first or open up the pores first to pull everything to the surface prior to washing it off. So that's that's really the outgas process. It's not it's not that complicated if you really think about it, but for some reason it gets misconstrued a lot and I'm not really sure where that's coming from online or how that originated or whatever, but just just think about it as Outgassing is really just out trashing. You're bringing the trash out. You're bringing everything out from down below the surface to the surface so I can then get it off because I want it to come off prior to cleaning and not when I coat the part and it creates a bad look on the part later. So there's kind of the simple way to look at outgassing anyway.